I'm Scotty Cash, and this is from the Command Center. Welcome to the third episode of From the Command Center. I'm still Scotty Cash, and he's still Tommy, the Cardboard Cutout co-host. Um, I did that fan mail thing last week, and that actually lit a little fire under your guys' butts. Because that's what I want. I want more fan mail. I got about six emails the first episode, and I got about 26 emails the second episode. Keep them coming. Request, questions. If you don't like emailing, go to the message board at popculturenetwork.com. Let's get some let's get some polls going. Let's get some talk going. Let's let's generate this show. Let's make this show what it should be. But uh, let's talk about what we're here to talk about. White Ranger and the Tiger Zord. You obviously knew I was going to do it this week. I did the whole um, next time on from the command center, so it was no secret. Maybe I, I put that on there so maybe you don't like the White Ranger and you don't want to watch it this week. Well, that's absurd. You pay attention. Anyway, they obviously came in a two-pack. Um, they came with a coin. I don't have my coin anymore. I sold my Morpher uh, maybe a year or two years ago, which I super regret. I'm going to get all that back. Um, but they came with a coin. They came with the Dragon Zord. They came with Tommy and the, the, the Blade Blaster. But let's take a look at Tommy first. Uh, quick history lesson. Um... Jason David Frank was actually, well, he was the Green Ranger, obviously, but he was then um, casted to play Adam Steele on the VR Trooper show called Cybertron. There's actually a pilot of it. Go check it out. It's, it's crazy. That's what it is. I'm not going to say if it's good or bad. I'm going to say it's crazy. Uh, this was actually Tommy before um, the other guy, which escapes my mind, was Tommy. But what happened was um, Tommy Oliver lost his powers as the Green Ranger, went off to film some of these, the pilot episodes, but the fans kind of caught wind of that, and this they weren't too sure about VR Troopers or Cybertron, so they brought Jason David Frank back as the White Ranger, which was probably the smartest thing they ever did. Um, Jason David Frank has appeared in more Power Ranger episodes than any other Ranger ever. American. So, I don't know about... You know, the Japanese style. But uh, this was going to be Tommy. Fun fact. Let's take a look at Tommy. Um, usually right out the gate, I mess with articulation. His art articulation, just like the, all the other 8-inch, is actually like super good. You got the shoulders. You got the top of the muscle where you can turn the hand like left and right. You got both elbows. You got wrist. The wrist only goes up and down, not left or right, which is all right. And then on his hand, you got his fingers, and then his trigger finger too, so he can hold Saba or he could hold his uh, Blade Blaster. For the legs, there's no, there's no waist at all. For the legs, you got the top of the legs, above the knee, the knee, and the ankle. The ankle, just like the wrist, it only goes up and down, but I'm perfectly happy with that. On it for his head, it goes left and right. It does go up and down, but the his armor kind of prevents it from going too far up and down. Take this off. His armor. See, he's got a little bit more when you take off the uh, armor. Um, I kind of struggled taking the armor off. Um, maybe not so much that time as, as usually, but you got to be careful when you're taking this armor off. If you have this figure, you know. I've already broke off one of my pegs. On, on his armor, but the pegs slip in there, and it's actually, I mean, it's actually a good idea. It's got these two peg holes on the back that plug into uh, the White Ranger's back, so it kind of just stays on there pretty good, but you really, you really do got to be careful taking that off, because it'll snap one of them off real quick, and it'll get stuck in there real quick. For Tommy's accessories, he comes with Saba which um, I super love. I was actually kind of upset 
when the Green Ranger didn't come with his Green Dra Dragon Dagger. Put this back on. Sweet. But, uh, I don't know. I, I, I kind of dig Saba on the TV show. You know, he was kind of, he was kind of, he was kind of goofy at first, but, uh, I kind of dig him. Um, there's two ways to get uh, the White Ranger Tommy. Um, you can obviously get him in the two pack that comes with the Tiger Zord, which you can definitely find on eBay. There's there's a, a ton of them. You could probably get you find him on eBay by itself. There was also a two pack that came with the White Ranger and the Green Ranger. Um, not only did they come as automorphers, but they also made a very rare eight inch two pack. Uh, the Gold Team, I believe it was called. But uh, it's uh, super awesome. Uh, if you find that, I mean, pick it up definitely. Definitely if you can get a good deal on it. Just to have. But uh, this is Tommy. And after this commercial break, we're going to be back with the Tiger Zord. It's the Mighty Warpin Power Rangers. Teenage Defenders of Earth. The Power Rangers are driven by the power of the ancient dinosaurs. Lately, Eco Space Aliens have become a real safety hazard. them freaking commercials I seriously I can't get enough of those types of commercials somebody needs to stop and make a DVD of all old toy commercials and maybe even throw in some like old cartoon commercials like you know coming next week or our next time on from the command center but you gotta love toy commercials I don't care if it's Care Bears I'll watch a Care Bear toy commercial what do you think about that would you watch one? Oh, for sure for sure he definitely would this is the Tiger Zord I know, I know I say it enough, but it's beautiful. I just love everything about it. The stickers, the red orbs, the shiny tail, the 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 chrome slight you know plastic on the on the head. On his poles, it's silver. I just it's just a beautiful it's just another beautiful Zord. They just did a really good job on all the mighty morphin stuff. I'm not saying they do a good job on the other stuff, I just really love this stuff. But uh, this is in uh, tiger mode, obviously, and he obviously will transform into um, a battle mode. But uh, the tiger sword has two buttons up here. He's got this screaming one and this fire alarm one that goes on for an hour and a half. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, maybe it is. Maybe it is a fire alarm that, that tells Tommy, you, you got to get out of here, dog. You got to go. But, um, this is him. I will show you the articulation after battle mode. But his tail, which looks nothing like a banana, mind you. A lot of people say that. It doesn't even taste like a banana either. Ugh. Um, his tail is actually uh, the sword for the Tiger Zord in battle mode. Uh, what do you say? Let's go ahead and transform him. How you start is you want to go ahead and fold his feet in, or you know whatever. His leg just pops right out. Put the legs down. Now on the feet, the I pop the feet down. The feet slide back and then in. I'm gonna get you. I'll definitely get you a close up. All right, that's it. He's good. You ready? Just kidding. Then his body, you just push it down. His, his feet come up, and they actually have pretty sweet uh, uh, Tiger Zord coin like signs on there. Turn the feet out a little bit, boom, you got his hands. Now you got his head. I'm not going to put the uh, Thunder Zords with him. I'm not even going to talk about that because that's not yet. All right. His sword fits quite nicely into his hand. It actually kind of, there's snaps in almost and it's in there pretty good you still have access to the buttons button and fire alarm that again still goes on for a half an hour um, you can actually see that his mouth lights up and which I, I, I really like but there's an orb like the orb on the shoulders that come off real easy 
So I'm sure I'm sure all of you have, have lost at least one or maybe lost and found it. But I always had the biggest problem losing the orb uh, or the sphere in his mouth. And I tried to take it out earlier today and it doesn't come out. Maybe my mom's uh, glued it in there so I stopped losing it and complaining about it. Anyway, for articulation, there's not really much, but you don't need much. I mean, this thing's, this thing's beautiful. You can't, I mean, you, I guess you can count his head. One, you got both shoulder joints too, his feet, his elbows, which, I mean, I guess technically if you had him in battle mode, you can kind of bend the elbow up maybe a little bit, but that's about it. His legs. And, and his feet. Wow, this is difficult. And then his body. It's a beautiful, beautiful Zord. I know I say that this is one of my favorite Zords. I guess I've only had uh, one episode where I did a Zord, and it was Serpentera, and she's one of my favorite Zords. But, well, this is another one of my favorite Zords. And I love uh, the Dino Zords and the, the Thunder Zords and Tor the Shuttle Zord and T Titanus the, the Shuttle Zord. And, so, I mean, you, you, you get where I'm going there? I love them all. Anyway, uh, this is the Tiger Zord. Uh, quick history on the Tiger Zord. Um, the Tiger Zord was actually going to be the Dragon Zord. In, in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but the Tiger Zord was sick that day, so the Dragon Zord ended up being the Dragon Zord. It worked out real well. That was a terrible joke. Um, well, you, you got anything? Yeah, I talked about the orbs. Yeah, you lose the orbs. Way to pay attention. Um, I guess that's it. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess he's 10 inches long and 13 inches with the uh, tail, if you're wondering, and he's about 11 inches tall in battle mode if you count the top of his shoulder, and he's about 10 and a half if you count his head, so I should have probably talked about that when I had him in battle mode. Too late now. Um, I'm Scotty Cash. He's Tommy. We're out of here. Next time, Next time. Next time. on From the on Command, command, command Center. Center. Spin Fighters! Fastest spinning action you'll ever see. Crank them up and launch them into battle. So much action, your head will spin! Now collect Power Rangers, Spin Fighters. Pick the mighty Power Rangers against Rita Repulsa and her evil space aliens in a fight to the finish. Only one can win. Collect them, trade them, you can even wear them. Spin Fighters!